Hello friends, this is Cold Run. Welcome back to a blind playthrough of Elden Ring. We're here, we're here in the Grand Cloister just off the Lake of Rot. And last time we went through the Lake of Rot, we on the way here we took out the Baleful Shadow, the last Baleful Shadow that was hunting Ronnie. I guess she killed all the others. Um, I thought it, the Baleful Shadow was Blythe, but then at the end Ronnie said, you know, fair, this is my farewell, tell Blythe and EG I love them. So that must not have been Blythe. So Blythe stayed true. Um... A good doggo. And I wasn't sure at the end of that fight why Ronnie left, but it makes sense because the doll form was only to hide away from the baleful shadows. So there was no more need for that once we killed the last one. So she must have killed the rest. Um, yeah, so we arrived at the Lake of Rot and went through it, and it sucked. The, this, I am really not a fan of this place. I mean, this place might be great, but I just, I don't like a place where I'm constantly poisoned. I wish they had built up that... I don't know. I wish they had played more with the... with the platforms, like, done more creative stuff to make it better. Like, I wish that they had made the plat... like, made the platforms have auras that reduce the... that, like, quickly cure you of rot somehow when you're on them. Like, that make it speed up ticking down. Because it just felt like I was either just waiting forever for it to tick down or or I was just constantly rotted. Um, and it wasn't fun. So there certainly was a lot of fun about this place. Like the environment is cool as hell. But the mechanics I was not a fan of. Um, <clears throat> so there were a couple of things that we want to do. Oh, thing, so there's two things I want to look at first. Yeah, Nomadic Warrior number 22. Rock pot, rock grease, and drawstring rock grease. How do we make those things? A rot pot's got to be a ritual pot, right? No, it's not. Toxic mo Oh, we can make a lot of these. This is good. That's quite good. Oh, no, this does need ritual pots. Still, that's very good. I like it. Decorated with the crest of scarlet wings. Oh, look at that. Look at that icon. The rot bubbles up from the swamp of Ionia and eats away at life like a vicious plague. Yeah, it does. Yeah, rock grease and drawstring rock grease. Okay. <clears throat> that is good to know. Quite good to know. So, oh, in the key. We found a, a discarded palace key. Key to treasure chest for Carrie and princesses. Is this, are we finally going to open the treasure chest in uh, Ranala's room? A key discarded by Lunar Princess Rani alongside her very flesh. Opens a treasure chest passed down to Carrion Princesses. It is said to be found in the Grand Library of Rhea Lucaria with her mother, Ranala. We're doing that right now. We're doing that right now. Okay, so Victor Prati mentioned a couple things in the Lake of Rod I should still do. I still have, should still do. One is I did see a lone ancestor. I just assumed it was a random enemy, but... I guess that was really the only one I saw here. So uh, so he suggested that I kill it. So I will go kill it. Um, yeah, it makes sense. It's a, if it, it's an anomaly. I should kill anomalies. And, yeah, and the other thing was he suggested getting inside a house. Because when I was... When, I think it was like around here. Was, there was... When I was kind of running around like a, frantically looking for anything before I died. There was like a house I couldn't really get into in this area. And then I died, and I didn't go back there. So I will head back there, too. First, we're going above ground. I forgot how close we are right now. We're basically right underneath uh, the academy here. I don't know what to do with that information, but it's interesting. Uh, let me loot your stuff. Do you actually have anything to say about my... Now that I've had these conversations with Ronnie? No. No. Look at that golden glow. Dark moon ring. Hell yes. It is. Ring of Lunar Princess Ronnie's Cold Oath. I'm looking at the... It looks sort of like Ronnie, like... But I guess it wouldn't be her, it would be the witch. Um, I don't know. I don't know what that is. 
Is that the witch? Like the witch who taught her? Ring depicting a leaden full moon. Symbolic of a cold oath. The ring is supposed to be given by Lunar Princess Rhiney to her... Her consort. Is this... Did we just get wifed? I think we... Did we just get wifed? I... Probably not. But she just gave us the key to this. She just basically... Maybe we got wifed. Who knows? Ronnie is an imper... I think... I'm actually thinking maybe we did. That is not uncommon at all for From Sol... I don't know how common it is, but Dark Souls 3 certainly used marriage as a huge thing. And this game is using it too. Like, the two fingers want me to wed Marika, become Marika's consort? Hell no. I mean, I've never, I haven't met Marika, but, like, I'm Team Ronnie. Uh, anyway, sorry. Ronnie is an Empyrean, meaning her consort would by rights earn the title of Lord. A warning is engraved within. Whoever thou mayst be, take not the ring from this place. The solitude beyond the night is better mine alone. The solitude beyond the night is better mine alone. No, it's not. You love company. You, that's why you gave it to me. This is basically a, this is your last chance to get out of this relationship before I love you too much with all my dark full moon cold heart, whatever. Ah, hell yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Let's go die in some poison. I'm in a good mood. Let's go die in some poison. Where was this thing? This might be an exploratory mission. First mission, because I thought it was over here, but I, I might have been wrong. Is it over there? Oh, it must be over there. Yeah, I think we're going to... Oh, there's just a big old entrance to it. I didn't even see... I, I was in such a panic last time, I just didn't even look for the... Around all the sides. All right. Uh, oh no, I so don't care about you. Where is... Is there a thing in here? Is there a thing you're guarding? Knowing this game, I probably have to actually kill you. Oh, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. I became death blighted. Shit. Uh, <clears throat> too late, but at least I found where to go. Hopefully that will still be there. I don't know how that works if I don't pick up a thing. I guess it's still on the ground. I hope it's still on the ground. Uh, yeah, okay. <clears throat> I just, I, I flat out value a loss of life or a few trips far less than sacramental buds because they're so, so rare. All right, let's do this. Nope, 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 nope. Ah! Fuck. Okay. I'm, I'm just, okay. I am done with this place. I am mentally done with this place. Uh... Shit. No, no, no. Run, run, run. Fuck. Oh, my God. I am not. Oh, okay. I, I you know, I don't know why I'm, why I'm stuck on this uh, weapon. I'm clearly better off with my Horfrost stomp weapon here. I just, I just forgot. I forgot to think. Yeah, Ice Lightning Sword is notably unusually bad for this. Yeah, look how much easier that is. Look at that.
I think I might have just gotten trolled. But that's how it happens. That's how it goes. Okay. Well. Glad I came to the... <laughs> glad I investigated the house. <laughs> oh, fucking A. <laughs> okay. Uh, anything else I'm missing while I'm here? <laughs> Probably not. Let's see if I can find anything to make this... Oh, you know what? Was there something else worthwhile up here? There might have been. I thought I was being trolled, and maybe I wasn't being trolled. Or maybe I was being trolled. What was the point of this? Oh, there's a thing up there. Uh... A mushroom crown. I apologize. I thought I was being trolled, and it was only the game that's trolling me with this by creating this area. It was not not uh, Victor Prati in the comments trolling me. There actually was a thing to find. Uh, let me see if I can... I don't think I'm going to make it much farther, but let me see if I can at least spy out the uh, ancestral follower. It might have been on the other side of the bridge. It might have been on the uh, western side of the of, of the lake. That seems... Oh, no, there you are. So let's mark you out over there. You're about over there. And let's see if we can roll and die at the same time. Yes. Died mid-roll. Mushrooms found growing all over the body. These overgrown mushrooms form a towering headpiece. Raises attack power when something nearby suffers from poison or rot. I'll bet this has great immunity, too. Long ago, great lords served the scarlet rot. Perhaps such fungal bodies served as their crowns. Great lords served the scarlet rot. Hmm. So that ruins one of my theories. I thought for a bit that the scarlet rot came about as a result of, and actually, let me check. Does this have better? What's my what's my thing now? Forty six immunity. What was the uh, the antlers? Thirty three. This is okay. This is great for that. Perfect. And increases. That's actually really good for if I want to do like a, a poison build or like a rot build. Or not even just a build. Like if there's a fight where I want to use poison, this gives me a boost in damage. What what? I'm, this is something I'm not going to be able to figure out myself. Like, what's, what percent boost is? Is it like 30% just seemed like a common thing when boosting different things? Is it like 30%? Because that's incredible. I wonder if even, if it boosts when I'm rotted too. It sure looks like it. That, yeah, I think I get the boost. Hello, friend. Immunizing Horn Charm plus one. Oh my goodness. I somehow managed to dodge the two items that would have been most helpful to me looking at this place for the first time. We'll look at that in a second, but I think it's going to be the same thing. That's really good. I wonder if it stacks. Like, can I replace the modeled necklace with the immunizing horn charm plus one? Probably not. No, I can't. With this thing, with the regular one? 451. And with the plus one... It's 501. That's intensely good. I like it. I'm a fan. I support it. This is one horn. Oh, it's literally two horns joined in a single bud with some fur around it. Very neat. All right, let's explore more of this blighted, rotten, nightmare hellscape. We got a lovely waterfall.
And anything to jump down to? I don't th think so. We'll go the normal way. I saw when I died before because of the world's silliest death, I think I saw a whole mess of kindred of rot, which makes all the sense in the world. It would be surprising if they weren't here. Summoning pool is now functional. Oh, I didn't even see that. I was like, I just saw that, I just saw the, the mushroom wall had a glow to it. I was like, that's an unusual glow. Anything else here? Potentially. Yeah, yeah, there is. Golden Rune 10. Not quite a Newman Rune, but pretty good. Where do we go from here? Is this going to cave in? This looks like it might cave in. It did not cave in. I thought it would. I'm, I'm human enough to admit when I'm wrong. Where do we go from here? There's got to be a drop down. So where do we drop down to? There? Yeah. Golden centipede. Golden centipedes are the fetishes of the hardcore Golden Order fundamentalists against those who live in death, right? There's another thing over there. Can't make that jump. Do I die trying? No, I'm not going to die trying. I'll just try to keep it in mind. Uh... Where do I safely jump from here? I think I've been spotted. Yep. Uh, heal up. Okay, good shielding. Good. Just keep hitting them. That's the strategy. Uh, yeah. I should have equipped a more range, like an actual, like, beast... Not beast roar. But something like Beast Roy, like Storm... What was that called? Storm something. Uh, Storm's... Storm's Gas. Something like that. Alright. Uh... Four. I'm not using a Ballas here. I refuse. I, I morally refuse. I will use an immunizing cured meat. That must have been delicious. Pickled in a medicinal solution. Quite thrilling. Hello? Oh, fuck all the way off. Not just some of the way off, fuck all the way off. I'm gonna get whapped. I'm gonna get- I don't know what you want me to do. I'm just gonna die if I don't heal. I can't choose to not heal right now. It's- it's not an option for me. I- 
I can... Oh. I don't... Oh, gosh. I don't even... I think this trick for that will be... I forgot that I can bring it. I can... I think I have to clear the area and then bring it back to the platform. I can't... I just didn't think of that. I was just overwhelmed. Okay. All right, we'll try that. No, let me hit you. Please let me hit you. Please let me hit you. I'm just getting sloppy. Of course, it, it had a longer range than me. That wasn't cheap or anything. I was just... I was getting very, very sloppy. Let's kill you. I don't want to deal with you while we're... Nope. I'm... Yeah, this is not my day. It's not not my day. I can, get, I can make it my day. Yeah, we can get this. Nope. Oh, get it, get it. Oh, gosh. All right, see you in 20 minutes when this rot wears off. You know what? This will also be a good chance uh, to test out my, uh, to test out my Mimic Tear Ashes in a spot against a boss that I'm not super worried about treating fairly just because I've beaten its kind a bunch before. This is the same boss in a different flavor. So let's see how this does. Uh, all right. Ah, uh, shoot. No, no, no. No, no, no. Up, up, up. Okay. Oh, shoot. Uh, am I going to be able to summon it? We'll see. Heal up. Get away from that. I think I should be using fire against... Oh, ice hit. Uh, shoot, ball us up? Yeah, we're going to ball us. Uh, yeah, we're in trouble. One, two... This is... This mimic tier is... I don't know how much damage it's doing versus how much damage I'm doing, but it's doing a fair hefty... Look at that! It took barely any damage. Holy shit! Ravago Nin was not kidding when they said that this was... Golden Seed, thank you. When they said that this was a strong, uh, a strong ash of, uh, strong spirit ash. I am happy I used it there. I have no regrets. But I'll also, I also will be hesitant about, no, I don't know about hesitant about using it. I want to, gosh, it's a tough choice. I don't know. I'm certainly going to be mindful of, of whether to use it. I... That was a boss I don't mind overpowering, frankly. But it's going to be one of those, I, if I'm really feeling frustrated and lost, then I'm, I might go to it. But look at this. We've seen this figure grasping a tablet all over the place, all over these ruins. Is that what this is? Is it like the god of rot?
All right. Faded early flower. I am expecting... Let me... Hmm. Yeah, let's try to finish the... Hold on. Let's slow our... Let's slow our roll. Do we need this? I don't think we need this anymore, do we? No, we don't. Um... No, it didn't. I thought I got that. It must have been too far away. Ugh. Oh, I have, like, nothing left going into whatever this boss is going to be, but that's okay. I'm assuming... Or maybe it's praying. Praying is the better word, that there's going to be uh, a... Oh, God. I just want to see what's beyond here. Maybe I'm really hoping beyond hope that there's going to be a, um, what do you call it? A, the thing where you respawn, a steak of America. I will be a grumpy panda bear if there is no steak of America in here, like by wherever, whatever this boss is. What is this? This coffin on the edge? Rested coffin? No, I didn't mean to do that. What am I doing? Is this going to be the gender swap coffin, like from Dark Souls 2? Or is it going to send me over the edge? Hi? I did not want to do that. That was not on the list of things I wanted to do just there. We can fight through that. It's okay. What is this melty mushroom land? Hello? We just rode the coffin down the, the rot waterfall to where? Wait, this is... This is... Is this where we had the... Uh... Yeah, this is... Um... The hell? So this was a physical place that we went to. The... Um... The Ancestor Beast fight. This is not a connection I was expecting right here. Huh. Wait. There's another... Another boss fight down here? I mean, sure. A stale natural born of the void. Hello? You're like the, the grandparent. The, you're the one that attacked. We've heard of you. Oh, shit. I wanted to have a, a striking weapon. Okay, so those just explode. I thought they were going to shoot my way. Yeah, so it's like an anti-melee thing. You are kind of gorgeous. That looks like a grab attack. Hello?
You are such a cool boss. You are just so dang cool. You're beautiful. You're more beautiful than I expected. A put you're, you're not putrid. You're... I was thinking putrid because I was thinking that you were the... Um... I was thinking putrid because you know how when toxic like water, when polluted water has that rainbow cue? I think that's what I was primed to be thinking about. Let me... Sorry, this is... That was very cool. I'm not going to use... This against you, I don't... Maybe I will use... Maybe I'll try that. Um, let's swap... Let's try the striking weapon for a sec, because your head looks skull... Your head's a skeleton, and skulls are usual crackable. Where's my swingy do? Here. Right, we're going to try Ice Lightning Sword. Ah, they just... I love your look, friend. Still natural born of the void. See you. Can I torrent up? I probably could. Yeah, this is a pretty slow weapon, actually. The effect of it, I mean. And the, the range is short, too. Yeah. Alright, well, let's try four Frost Stomp. Ha! Look at that! What a cool way to die. So that's the danger of not following it. <clears throat> That's the danger. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, so I'm I'm gonna leave the leave this off the menu for now and swap the dragon scale blade out with the the blood blade. It's long and it's short range. It's a long wind up and it's short range, which is not a great com not a great combo. But I bet Holy is good against this. I mean, Holy can probably do pretty well against Void. Yeah, we're going to replace this with Reduvia. But I'm going to try um, my swingy striker weapon. Doesn't do that much damage, actually. I was having better luck with uh, anything else. I was hoping I could just run to the side, and but no luck. Hmm. Okay, another lesson learned. I've just... This is giving me... Why am I liking this so much? It's the... I think the vibes are very much like, what's her name? Like the, the great old one in Bloodborne, Ebri e Ebriatos, Ebritas, Ebriatos, Ebriatos. Um, that same like cosmic starry enemy and I am down for it.
I, this may be my favorite boss? I don't know. It might be. The visuals of it, the aesthetics of this are just super my cup of tea. Oh god, I saw that coming and I couldn't get to it quite. And crunch. crunch a -roo. That's new. And unpleasant. Uh, you're over there. Oh, I forgot to get my runes before. Oh, oh well. Look at that menacing, like, centipede clomp. I thought I avoided it. I thought I got out in time. I have to get farther away. Uh. Oh, right. I'm, it can whap me from afar. One, two, three, four, something like that. No, no, get away. Okay. Right, where are you warping to? Above me. Oh, I thought I dodged that. I clearly didn't, but I saw you at least. Somehow we lived. Where are you? All right, rock time. You're so far away. And now. Almost. Whew. Uh, okay. Okay. Nope. No snapping. Bad centipede demon star creature. Can I get in? Nope. Okay, where are you? Where are you? It's the one shot question. Oh crap, one we gotta go survive this. Last flask. Dodged, good. Got it. Unless there's phase two, we got it. Remembrance of the Natural Born. It looks like a constellation in that remembrance. I just, this was, was this my favorite fight in the game? It might have been. In pure visual terms, we're fighting amongst the stars. I mean, they talked about wanting to be, wanting to find the true stars again, the true sky that they were banished from. And this denizen of the false of the true sky is is here lurking amongst. That's what they were worshiping. Why were the kindred of rot? No, the, what, were, what were the kindred of rot worshiping? We still don't know that. And we'll also check out what's to the north here. But I have a feeling that's just the other side of the. Um, that's where we came in from before. What, what did we get? We got remembrance of something. Remembrance of the natural born. Estelle, natural born of the void, hewn into the Erd tree. A malformed star, born in the lightless void far away, once destroyed an eternal city and took away their sky. A falling star of ill omen. Is this what crashed down just now, what was freed by, uh... Is this what was freed? The 
the natural born thing is interesting too because of the idea that of what Ronnie's trying to do like she's trying to take away this sculpted molded version of reality molded by the greater will and the two fingers that that's what I think at least it could be wrong and here she is her fate in the stars is freed and this natural born void thing hmm Oh, right, flasks. Charge to flask, yes. It's our first charge in a long while, and probably our last. Maybe we might get one more, but I imagine that's our last. No, I don't know how much of the game is left. I presume a bunch? What am I talking about? Of course there's a lot left. I haven't been to that. God, this... How expansive is this thing? I haven't been to the Halig Tree. I haven't been to a million places. But just you wait. Motherfucker, this is how we're going to get to that other area in southwestern Laernia. This is how we get there. Deep Ainsel Well. This is at long last how we get there. Moonlight Altar. Well, as soon as I find a grace point, I'm leaving, but... Early day, but the moon is still out here. I've heard some people, like, trash the graphics of these games, and they get, like, that there's not a lot of facial features, but the environments. Oh my god, the environments in this game. Alright, but we're not doing this. Uh, how are we doing on time? We are about out, but I don't care because I want to see... What is this called? The yeah, Moonlight Altar. So I really want to slash need to see what was in that little house they were at, worshipping at in the Grand Cloister. By the way, that's... Uh, when I think about... Uh, like, that's a perfect example of a boss that I'm glad I did not use the... Um... I didn't use the ash, uh, the mimic here for, because it would have made it less fun. That's my standard, basically, of am I going to use a mimic tier? If I think it's going to make it less fun, I will not use it. If I think it's not going to make it less fun, I will use it. Oh, I got double blood build buildup, don't I? That was a slow-moving one. Yeah, I got, like, double blood gauge build-up because of the Mimic tier. That is kind of fun. But I'm not going to go for that. I'm going to go for the Horfrost Stomp. I should have let kept that up. Also, that's not the God of Rot. Is the God of Rot in here? It's got to be in here. There's got to be... No, the ancient born the the god is Maybe that's what they were talking about is uh Estelle. But they weren't worshiping Estelle. No, the kindred of Rot weren't worshiping Estelle. That was just like almost coincidence that I found him down there. Found them down there. Wasn't it? Are you harmless? No. I, I thought it might be actually harmless. What actually was up here? I thought this was going to be the boss. And it sure looks like it, but apparently not. It is, I mean, a grand cloister. A cloister is a place where monks are. Like, a cloister is a religious compound. Monks are nuns? I don't know if a nun, if a cloister can have nuns, but... Why were you worshipping the Scorpion Stinger? Let's read and find out. D 
dagger fashioned from a great scorpion's tail glistening with scarlet rot. Ceremonial tool used by heretics crafted from the relic of a sealed outer god. This has got to be, I mean, everything about this says that it's from, from Estelle, like a piece of Estelle. How? What's the relationship between the stars and the Scarlet Rot? The kindred of Rot were clearly worshipping this outer god that was from the stars and from the void. I, there, I thought they were t a couple of s totally separate entities, totally separate, like, games within the game, but no. They're not separate. I don't know what the connection is. I don't know how... The stars and Ronnie, because I thought the stars and Ronnie are one thing. Millennia and, but they're not one thing. We know that Millennia and Mikola are a different thing. We know that Millennia and Mikola are a Scarlet Rot thing, but we also know maybe M Mikola is the cro the. The crossover might be that maybe they're just different flavors of Empyrean. Because Mikola is an Empyrean just like Ronnie, and Ronnie is going to walk that path. I really don't know where we're going with this. I know where I'm going with this. That's to the table of Lost Grace to turn this in. Bastard Stars. Waves of darkness. Bastard stars. Flail which deals magic damage, having been imbued with power by the remembrance of Astral. Of Astal. Formed of the same many-colored star debris. I guess bastard saying it's composed of many different stars. Okay. Seems a bit mean-spirited is all I'm saying. Many same many-colored star debris that comprise the form of the natural born of the void. Nebula. Imbue natural born stars with magic to perform a sweeping strike this attack leaves a dark cloud of stars in its wake that lingers briefly before exploding i don't have nearly enough intellect to use this i wanted to use it but alas ash of war waves of darkness this i can use grants an arm the mag armament the magic affinity and wave of waves of darkness plunges the equipment into the ground to release three waves of darkness that's that boom 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 Follow up with a strong attack to swing the armament in a sweeping strike. Oh, great axes, great hammers, so we can't use this. Okay. Alas, because that seems awesome. And no equipment from you, I can't imagine. Yeah. Do you have anything to say? I mean, I'm super betraying you. I'm super not on Team Fingers anymore. Fingertips. 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 Anything new to say from you? Journey to the cap of the two fingers, you maybe. No, oh, you're still singing that old song and dance. What about Mr. What about the poop nomer? The uh What do you gotta say? I asked you not be thankful of the no. Hulk. It is all that... No, nope, Poop Nomer's still there. Dung Eater is still doesn't want anything to do with me. I'm trying to think of an eat word that rhymes with fecal. Or that starts with an F. The 
the Fecal Fast Breaker? I really don't know. I can't come up with it. The Scorpion Stinger causes Scarlet Rot buildup. Something must have happened to the Void because to the Estelle of the Void. Because it wasn't doing, it was in like a purer form. It was not doing any rot shenanigans down there. Boy, do I want a, a, a rot weapon. I'm... No regrets about that. I am curious what a rot weapon will feel like. Can I dual wield in this game? I never even thought to ask. Like, what does that even look like? I can? I can do a wield. Is this the... Is this the aqueduct? I'm looking for where I could even possibly start looking for the aqueduct. It's going to be off of Nokron. And I don't think it's going to be... Because this is clearly a thing, but... Is it? No, it's not. This is not a thing. This is just... It looks like the road is going to here. That's just Kaled. No, it's the it's it's got to be an aqueduct like right next to Nokron or on Nokron. Is it by the Hallowhorn grounds? What is this? What am I doing? What would normally be the block button is now doing a flurry of attacks with my daggers. I, I had to test this out and I also wanted to check. So aqueduct's got to be by water. I am going to be looking... Are you anything? Hard to say. I'm going to be looking for water next time. Why am I testing an ability when I have 92,000 runes? The answer is I'm not. I'm going to wrap it up here. That's going to be it for me for now. Thanks for watching. And next time we'll level up and continue looking for the aqueduct. Uh, I'll see what I can find as far as water goes. And I'll try to follow it, I guess. But any, I'll take a, I'll take a hint about like where to even begin looking for, like if there's an, a grace point I should go like to start looking for the aqueduct. It's got to be here. I just, I don't even know where to start looking. But um, yeah, I do want to check that out. So yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and we'll see you in. See you as we look for the aqueduct. Bye bye.